Well, welcome back to Epic Cars, and today we're going to continue the Ford Excursion series. I put the lift and the new wheels and tires on for my last video last week. And now I'm continuing the series with just a few other upgrades. A little bit, obviously, more minor this week, but definitely useful. First thing I'm going to switch out is new headlights. So I've got these Spider uh, headlights with the halo uh, on them. Second thing I'm going to do work on today is inside the Excursion, obviously in 2005, kind of the USB charging system didn't exist. I'm going to convert it from the traditional kind of cigarette lighter style, where you have to have the adapter and then it goes to USB, to actually a USB plug right there on the dash. Pretty cool uh, little addition and looks to be pretty straightforward and simple. And then the last thing I'm going to do is install a new uh, trailer brake control module. Now this is supposedly a plug and play system. In the fact that there's a factory wiring harness behind the dash that I've just got to find somewhere and then plug into the back of this controller and it's already wired and everything to the back uh, trailer hitch. So. Hopefully that's a pretty simple install also, you know, other than just finding that harness. Everybody tells me it's right up underneath the steering wheel, so we'll find it and go from there. All right, so I got the truck pulled in, and yeah, look at these. A lot different look. So that's side-by-side -side comparison of what's going to go on this truck. What's nice about it is it's got a projector light. It's got a regular high, and then your turn signal is now integrated inside. Very similar to this, but a little bit smaller. And of course, it's got this, I don't know if this is an LED or a compact fluorescent. I'm not really sure. I'll have to read the directions a little bit more. I've got to figure out how to hook that up to a, essentially, there's not a driving light or a daytime running light on these. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to hook, hook it up to actually the parking lights. Uh, and so where that light and this light will come on at the same time. But I'll have to dig into it just to see. But I think this is really going to dress up the front end. So let's get to working on it. Okay, so you're going to need a 7.32 socket for this. The 7.32, there's two on the top here, and then there's four across the top of the grill. you got to get the grill just a little bit out of the way. You don't have to take it off totally, but to be able to pull out, pull out the headlights, you've got to get this grill kind of pulled away. And then there's two more in here that are really, really hard to get to, but as long as you got an extension on your, your ratchet or your, or your drill or something, uh, you should be able to reach them, and they're just right in there. Okay, so you can see I pulled the... Uh, right side out there's three bulbs in the back you got a little running light on this side the turn signal and then the main light right here in the middle main thing to keep in mind is you do not want to get fingerprints or anything like that on that bulb and then these are just regular incandescent bulbs I don't know if this is halogen or not but they always say don't put your fingerprints on them or they'll kind of burn out quicker but basically there's four bolts that hold that in you kind of got to wrangle it out a little bit to get it but uh, once it's out you know, it's easy to take these off and get from there. So now let's install the new one. Okay, so essentially, if I'm looking at this correctly, everything is uh, pretty much the exact same, except for we've got this right here, uh, which I assume, not really sure. Oh, it probably handles this little LED on the side. So we got to figure out how we're going to hook that up. And then this hooks into something like I said, I'm not exactly sure how this all works, but uh, we're going to have to figure this out. Probably the one thing I would I would say is that the, uh, the instructions are very generic, so you have to kind of read through it. And In fact, I may not have all the parts to get this done today uh, because it's so generic. It just kind of tells you the basic stuff to do. So looking over the instructions, again, they're, they're literally very generic. It doesn't say anything. I mean, it doesn't give you any tips on how to install other than how to adjust and so forth but it does look like we are going to need this CCFL halo cold cathode fluorescent lighting power inverter in order to make this part of the headlight work so this little bar thing you know I'm still looking at it but what I don't understand is the LED on the side kind of where that plugs into that doesn't make sense to me so we're just going to have to keep looking through this, but I may have to get actual extra parts. And the rest of this is in Spanish, so that doesn't help me. Okay, so I got it in. This plugs straight into the existing little light. So this little light right here comes out for your marker light, and then that plugs straight into... Oh, just drop that. Uh, that strugs, uh, plugs straight into the uh, outlet that the light bulb came out of. And then this 
plug straight into where the headlight uh, lamp goes, the halogen goes. So I didn't know that. This is kind of a plug and play system. So we'll see if it works. You get to see just like I do. All right, I haven't screwed it all in yet. I'm just gonna turn the lights on and let's just see what happens. All right, everything's on. Let's see. Holy moly. So even the uh, halo works. That's cool. So no modifications are necessary whatsoever. Look at that. Now that is pretty cool. And then it's got that little LED for the running light right there. The halo lights up, parking lights light up, and then that projector lights up. Man, I gotta give Spider some credit here. I, I didn't think that would be that easy, but this is pretty easy. Pretty cool, guys. Boom. Yeah, I like them. That's interesting. pretty cool. For some reason my fog lights aren't coming on now, so I've got to research that, but uh, I'm really looking forward to get, getting dark so I can see how good these headlights are compared to the stock. But overall, I, I, I like the look. There's no question. It's definitely different. Okay, so I started the truck up and, and uh, fog lights came on, so I, I didn't know if the truck has to be running for fog lights to work, so that's interesting. But uh, everything works. The highs work. The great thing about it is Whenever I turn the highs on, those projectors stay on also. So I've actually got four, the four bulbs coming on uh, instead of just the one, I think, in the last one. So it could be really bright. I'm looking forward to testing it out. Okay, the next project I'm going to work on is this uh, brake controller. And taking everything out of the box, you've got some instructions, you've got the hardware, you've got brackets and things like that to install it inside the truck. Obviously, the actual brake controller itself and then the wiring harness. As I'm going through here, things look pretty simple. Uh, here's the installation instructions. I mean, it's like it's literally one page. Uh, again, what makes it easy about this kit is it comes with a wiring harness that actually plugs right back into an existing harness uh, behind the steering wheel. Got a generic wiring diagram and then obviously the actual instructions for the controller itself. So I'm gonna get started putting this in and should be a pretty simple process. Okay, I went ahead and removed the panel that typically goes over where the fuse box is and right underneath the steering wheel. And I got underneath there, kind of looked around, and I saw some wires over here in this general area that were just bare wires. I mean, they were, I say that, they weren't connected to any kind of connector. There were four wires, and I thought, well, man, that's weird. I've got to connect to that. And I don't know if you can actually see them. I'll try to get my camera up in there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see but it's essentially they're right up in that area. It looked like four wires going into a main control harness that was uh, near the brake uh, booster. So I thought maybe you do have to hardwire this. And so then I started looking around a little bit more and again, went back to their instructions and right in there, hopefully you guys can see that, there's a little gray, it's kind of hard to see, right there where my finger is, uh, there's a gray pin connector and it looks like it matches the pin connector that came on the unit himself. And they said in the instructions that it could be near the steering column or near the uh, under the dash near the center console. And sure enough, that pin connector, so if you're looking at the excursion, that pin connector is right, right about right here. So the actual unit is actually gonna install right there. They kind of put this little indention here for a reason so that you can put a brake controller right there. It's right behind here and looks like it should hook up pretty simply. So just FYI, when you're looking for it, it's gonna be right around there. Okay, so I got the little pin connector out. You can see right underneath there, I'm moving it. There's, there's a couple of push pins that actually go into a metal bracket. I went ahead and pulled those out just using a screwdriver. I just kind of got underneath it, pried it up a little bit, and it just made it easier for me to be able to get the angle on it to put the, uh, the other harness in, and then I can just shove it back in there. Got it hooked up. Sure enough, it came straight on. So even without the accessory on, it actually powered up. So I'm not sure if it goes off, you know, once it kind of learns uh, that the key is not, you know, truck's not started, key's not in the ignition, because I certainly wouldn't want this to to run down my battery. I, I don't, don't know, I'll have to figure this out, but uh, it powered right up. So that's the right harness, we think. All right guys, so I've got it hooked up. Unfortunately, the uh, double-sided tape and things like that didn't work, so I had to end up screwing it into the dash, which I hated to do that, but 
it is what it is. Um, I've got it kind of cocked a little bit towards me so that I have a really good uh, bird's eye view while I'm sitting in the driver's seat. And it is adjustable, uh, just up and down depending on where you'd like it to be exactly. It's got the manual boot, uh, control right here. And of course, I'm in, I'm in kind of troubleshoot right now. So if I exit back out of this, it says no trailer connected. Kind of go through that process. I can go into menu, and if I go down to help, I can press OK, and then it goes into troubleshoot. And what's cool about that is you can see your battery voltage, gives you your stoplight, so uh, vol voltage, so if I press the brake, I know that it's connected. Output voltage, same thing. And then if I had a trailer uh, connected to it, it would actually measure the current going through the wire to the brakes itself. So that's pretty cool. And then you get back to battery voltage. So you can see that I'm running 13.7 volts. So doing pretty good right now. But it's got a lot of different options on it. So you back this back out again. You can change the light. You can do, as far as the display, you can change it from you know pink or purple or blue or green. I've got it on green so it kind of matches the uh, the AC and all the lights uh, that are already here on the Ford, but so far so good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to work on and the last project I'm going to work on for this video is replacing the cigarette lighter with this USB power uh, unit. I thought when I was kind of going through the introduction, I thought I was actually going to replace this power port for the uh, truck and I, you know, this is how I charge my phone currently. But I think it's uh, going to be easier if it you know, looks fairly easy just to remove this panel right here and get behind this and actually replace the cigarette lighter. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in, there was no instructions whatsoever that was sent with this. So I, you know, I assume it's you know, okay to use it right there, but I just don't know uh, because there's no instructions. But I'm going to go ahead and install it there and let's just see how this process goes. Okay, so I took off this little uh, access panel right there that actually is made to hold kind of a trash bag or something like that. I hold my masks on it now for Corona, but I mainly just wanted to see if this was actually gonna fit in that hole. I've seen some YouTube channels where the, the guys put it right here, and I actually think that's a good idea, but I really don't wanna take this dash piece off. Every time I take dash pieces off, I end up breaking something, and then it squeaks, and it drives me crazy, and so I just wanted to do it a little bit more simple. Um, I actually would prefer to maybe add it right here, so I still have this and still have that, but I don't smoke, I don't need a cigarette lighter, so uh, an easy place to put it would be down here too, and it fits in there quite nicely. It looks, uh, looks really good. So I think I'm gonna do it there now. Here's the actual wiring uh, module that comes out for that. It's just a two wire and it goes into the back of the cigarette lighter, which is right here. And so you just disconnected that. To get that out, guys, you just push on it. You there's no simple trick. You just have to kind of press a lot of pressure on it. It'll pop right out, no big deal. And then I disconnected it. I'm gonna cut these two wires, splice this in, and it should work great. Another thing I needed to do just before I cut the wires, I need to make sure which one's the power. So there's a blue with a white line and a black. I'm assuming it's gonna be the blue. And so let's just see here. Yep, sure enough, it's the blue. The black seems to be the ground. Blue with white line is the power, so I know now which one to hook up the red wire and the black wire to. Okay, so another thing I'm not a huge fan of, I kind of rethought this, was I'd, I'd, rather than cutting that line, and I mean, you can always splice it back in, what I did was I just got some end pin connectors, uh, those you know blue, red, and yellow pin connectors, cut off one side of the tab, shoved one end into this pin connector here. That way I don't have to cut any wires, splice anything in, and as you can tell, lights up great. Uh, I believe it's constant power, so uh, it should stay on even with the ignition off. Uh, in fact, let's just test that right now. I've got the truck running uh, because it's, uh, I didn't want to have the door open and running down my battery this whole time. Uh, plus it's nice to work in AC, but yeah, it's still on. So the only thing I'm a little concerned with is now I've got that on all the time, but the cigarette lighter was on all the time before, and that's just an LED. But then this is this just doesn't turn off. So I don't know if there's a you know it waits for 10 minutes or something and then turns off. You know I don't want all these lights kind of flashing around in my uh, my cab here when the truck is parked somewhere. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Hopefully that shuts off by itself in a few minutes. This I think will probably stay on, but the nice thing is I can put that cover over it and no one will know what's there. All right, I got everything buttoned up, wired off, taped off, everything's safe. 
plugged in my phone, it's charging. Everything's working great, guys. So uh, pretty simple projects to upgrade your excursion. And uh, wow, we're done. I've got a weird, ever since I put the headlights in, I've got a weird ABS light. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, but it c came on right after I put the headlights in, so I don't know if something's tricking the computer or I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I gotta fix that. But other than that, everything went pretty smooth. So guys, that's the conclusion of this week's video. Really, really easy projects that I've done. Uh, installed the new headlights, put the brake controller on, put the USB ports in. That all took probably a combination of maybe an hour. I mean, I think you could probably get it done in 45 minutes, to tell you the truth. Man, I've got to say, this excursion's come a long way in a couple of weeks. Gave it some attitude with the four inch lift and the uh, tires and the wheels. You can see that video above if you want to click on it. And then I've just made it a little bit more user friendly. New headlights, the brake controller is going to help immensely when I'm towing. The USB ports inside, even though it's, it wasn't a have to thing, it's just more of a convenience. Now I'm ready to go. Be comfortable, look cool doing it, and it's made it a little bit more user friendly. So guys, thanks for watching. Click subscribe, and we'll see you next time. God bless.